you know the exam that made me to stop posting video on youtube i missed the exam like it's not that i've missed it already but i know that i will miss it because the exam is supposed to take place in first june and which is the date that i will be giving birth so i cannot be in the delivery room and also be at school writing exam so i have to cancel the exam like after preparing for the exam like I'm so much ready to write the exam. Like, after preparing for the exam, I'll be missing it. But to the glory of God, <laughs> I'm missing it for good. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, I decided to do a sit with me video and chit chat a bit with you guys. I have my tea here, which I will be sipping because the weather is so cold. Like, I'm just coming back from the hospital and from the temperature today, it shows that now it's 14 degrees, but the cold outside, oh my god, I couldn't bear it. And I went out without jacket, thinking that the weather will be good. But it was so windy in the morning when I went out. Even now that I came back, it's still windy, so I just rushed back home. So I started to do hot tea to help myself out because... I'm freezing. I don't want to have cold. I'm even feeling that uh, I'm having the sensation that uh, cough and kata is coming. And I don't want that because if you sneeze these days, people will just turn and look at you as if to say you are the corona itself. So, so I don't want people to be looking at me when I go outside and sneeze. That's why I want to control it with this hot tea. So, what I want to talk to you guys about is about my pregnancy test. How I found out that I was pregnant. What prompted me to do pregnancy tests. It started on a normal day like this. On my birthday. My last year birthday. 17th October 2020. Was when I found out that I was pregnant for a second baby. I know that some of you might be <laughs> like how because i don't normally post my pregnancy journey here till i give birth reason best known to me so anytime you see this video just know that i've given birth like i'm doing this video on a friday which is 28th of may 2021 and i'll be giving birth on the uh, first of june in a few days time so i started to do this video because i don't want to I don't want to start bringing out my second baby online here on YouTube without telling you guys or without intro introducing the baby to you guys for so. I wanted you guys to know that here yeah, I've been pregnant since last year. I know that I don't owe anybody any explanation, but yeah, I still want to carry you guys along. And I made a lot of videos, but this video is all about the pregnancy test. So I don't want to divert. So how I found out that I was pregnant was I was still in the spirit of celebration, celebrating my birthday on that fateful day, 17th. Made birthday cake. I wasn't even feeling anything. Though I stopped breastfeeding Mona when he was eight months because I wanted him to start going to crutch so I can also resume my own schooling so that I can concentrate on my studies. Not knowing that, immediately I stopped breastfeeding him, that I took him. I wasn't expecting it. I did not plan it. Because you know that, some of you, some of you know that, before I gave birth to Mona, it took me a long time before I gave birth to Mona. It took me like five years. I planned for him. If he didn't come, then I just took off my mind from there and continued with my education till God blessed me with him. So... I was thinking that, yeah, the second one will not come with ease. Even my doctor told me that the second one might not come with ease since I had a problem conceiving the first one. So, that I don't need to do any family planning if I wish. So, I chose not to do the family planning. But I told my doctor that even if the second one comes now, that I will not be angry. Then, I stopped breastfeeding him, started my school and everything. After the bed, after cutting the birthday cake with my family, 
I decided to go to a friend place to celebrate the birthday with her because she invited me over and I planned sleeping over there but I went with Mona my plan was that in the evening the father will come and pick him so we can do the party after party. so my dear when it was the time for hobby to pick Mona hobby came to pick Mona and my friend has already bought wine for us to pop that evening like alcoholic wine I don't drink alcohol like I hate alcohol just the smell of the alcohol drives me away from alcohol. That's why I don't like drinking alcohol. And it doesn't taste good to me. So, I don't like alcohol. But this babe insisted that we must celebrate it with alcohol that night. And I said, okay. So, I planned to drink myself to stupor. To see what will happen. So, as Hobby came to pick Mona, Mona refused to go with Hobby. Mona was crying. Said, I must go with them Mona was crying that I must carry him, that I must go with them. Like, this dude wanted to cry his eyeballs out. So Hobby was like that. He's not comfortable that he couldn't control him, that I must go with them. So, my that, that was how my plan got shattered. So, as I went back home with them, Hobby surprised me with a small car because I also passed my driving, I also passed my driving exam that same october 15th october i got my driver's license on 15th october so hobby surprised me with a car key so we are still in the spirit of celebration also. so he wanted to celebrate the birthday together now you know as husband and wife so he wanted to just help me and pack the car very well inside the garage because i don't know how to pack car inside the garage so after packing the car inside the garage that night hmm guys I couldn't get up. I started screaming like I had pain. If you see pain on my lower abdomen, I started screaming. It was like, what, what is happening to me? So Hobby was like, should he call the hospital? So I told him, no, do not call the hospital because I'm ashamed of myself. What will I tell the hospital? If you call the hospital, what will I say that happened to me? You tell them that after parking the car inside your wife's garage, then she started screaming of pain. How are you going to explain? I thought if you call them, you are, you are the one that we go and explain to them. But me, I'm not coming out too. Because this is midnight. Almost 1 a.m. If you call them and they arrive here, you will go and explain to them before they take me to us because I, can't, I don't even know where to start from. I told him that you should wait. That I might get myself like in a few minutes time. So I even started praying silent prayer. Huh? I don't know what happened. Like, I didn't even imagine it like fact it came like a surprise to me i started screaming like the pains was unbearable my husband was the one that recalled that yeah this thing happened to me when i first got pregnant with mona and he said are you sure you're not pregnant again i was like for waiting pregnant for waiting now he said no i'm not pregnant though and he, he told me that remember that you had this sharp pain when you're pregnant for mona if i touch you during your first uh, first trimester you have this type of pain that was when i started thinking i said okay yeah it might be oh then and i remember that i've not even seen my period for <laughs> that i've not even seen my period for like how long i couldn't even remember like my mind wasn't there like seriously my mind wasn't there he asked me when last did you see your period i said i don't know i can't remember and he said okay that maybe Tomorrow, we can uh, go and buy test kit. So, he helped me to get up. I managed to get up, went to the toilet, eased myself. Then, after standing for a while, I got back myself. So, the following day, we bought the pregnancy kit. So stay tuned and keep watching the video. And if you find this my story interesting, please remember to give me thumbs up, share out the video to also enlighten others because they might learn one or two things from this video. So guys, let me show you how I did the pregnancy test and the rest of the pregnancy journey video will be coming out soon whenever I get time to edit them. This is the pregnancy kit I bought. So... 
we'll be doing the pregnancy test together this is the following day early morning urine i do have this container this was the container i was using to take some urine to the hospital when i was pregnant or mona so i still have some left so i just be dipping the pregnancy kit inside the urine and i wait for 10 seconds then i will bring it out and wait for the results as i'm waiting for the test i don't know if i should be excited <laughs> i don't know sure but uh let's just wait and see the result of the test after like five seconds so i try to hold it but yet i think i'm a bit nervous holding it so i will just drop it and i will bend it over like i don't want to be looking at it so i just wait for five seconds then i will pick it up o m g <laughs> oh my days oh my god it's double line hmm look here you will be having a brother or sister next year are you happy you are happy oh, yeah, touch it touch it you don't want to you're just loving hmm? yeah. see you'll be having a brother or sister by next year okay you want to touch it now don't put it in your mouth though. that's your brother or your sister that is a proof that you'll be having a brother mm -hmm. or sister next year okay i know you put it inside your mouth everything inside your mouth hmm? are you happy are you happy that you'll be having a brother or sister next year you happy you happy i kiss mommy mm. kiss mommy first if you want me to give it back to you kiss mommy <laughs> don't look at it so guys when i noticed that i was pregnant i found out that mona was with me spiritually like he's just a blessing why he was crying that night and insisted i go with them was that he doesn't want me to drink that alcohol and maybe harm his brother or sister to be like i'm so happy and i thank god that i listened and followed them home this was when I did the pregnancy test for Mona. I still have the kit here. <laughs> See, I wrote his name here because I normally have my kid's name written down before I even give birth to them, like I've known their name. Like, before this second baby comes, I already know the name that he or she will be. Like, I have all the names of my children written down in the paper and the second baby will be named Zina Chim. So you guys will be meeting Zina in few days time, okay? This is the test result. Thank you so much for watching. Bye and see you in my next one.